Hello everyone, welcome to um, Digimon Tamer 87 vlog for today. Today is Manga Day, so I'll be reviewing the first manga series is going to be Oren High School Host Club. I know it's the first two mangas, please don't screw around with me on that. It's only because I haven't got round to collecting them and I've got so many series, it's unbelievable. Um, so I'm going to start off with a little back, back info on on Orin High School Host Club. It's written by a, na na the, a man named Bisco Hattori. Um, it's a long running series. It's still run running today. Um, it has 13 volumes in England and America. Unless America is a bit further forward, I'm not sure. Um, Japan is currently running at 16 volumes of manga, um, which is pretty co cool. Um, Orin High School Host Club was first published in August 2003. If you want the exact date, I'll put it in an annotation. Um, it debuted in, in a Japanese manga named Lala. Um, in it's published here, uh, um, here and America by Viz under their um, their little co um, co publishing shoujo beat shoujo beat manga um, range. So and now to everyone's delight of the fans of the Mag series, it's now been made into a very popular anime series. Which probably at some point I will get round to reviewing because it is a very very good series, one of my favourite shoujo uh, anime out there at the moment. So I will be rating um, Orin High School Host Club on story, characters, artwork, uh, and I think that's it. So start with the story. The story is about a girl, believe it or not, um, who goes to a prestigious school named Oren High, and um, she dresses as a, as a as a guy. Sorry, it's cross dressing. But she walks into a um, music, an old music room, trying to find somewhere to study, quiet to study, and she falls upon what is known as the host club of the school who is run by seven guys. Um seven guys? I think it's yeah, seven guys. I'm maybe in annotation if I forgot that wrong. Um the and they go on many standardless adventures, very weird adventures in some cases. Um, meet various different characters, it is hilarious. And you meet many different. And the storyline, the storyline as a whole, in the manga, is pretty good. Uh, though, if you have watched the anime series of Oren High School, there are slight differences to the storyline that's in the in the manga than there is in the anime series. So be aware. Um, so overall, I really like the storyline. But boys, just a warning. You may not like it because there are very lovey dovey scenes in it. If you don't like love anime, don't watch it. And guys, like I said in the Shana um, review, there is, well, it's not technically incest, they don't do it. Because um, they love each other, they do it on purpose, unfortunately. But if you don't like incest, don't watch it. Don't, wa don't watch that part, or just skip that episode anyway. Uh, but. Oren has its very comedic sides. If you've watched the anime, you know what I'm talking about. But in, I think they take it to a whole new level in the manga. It's just hilarious, and all. So moving from off on from story, we move on to characters. So as I said, our main character is Haruhi Fujioka, who is an honor student, but does come from rather a poor background. 
she is a very very funny character she uh, but has a very serious side that is quite it's comedic but it's also quite funny at the same time because it only sparks out every now and then usually towards Tamaki so moving on to the Hor Orin guys Orin high school guys it, um, the leader or the king please don't call him that god don't call Tamaki that is Tamaki I should know his um, his last name um, his dad is the principal of the school but he's very wealthy as most people in the school is um, and I like Tamaki I hate to say it he's one of those lovable characters and his emo moments are just sometimes they're unnecessary but they are very very funny in at points and he's always arguing with the twins um, then we move on to Koya I think that's how you say his name. I think that's how he's, I think it is. Um, who is a, the son of a wealthy um, hospital owner? Um, I won't go into much more because that's quite a big storyline later on. Um, who then is very astute, very smart, wears glasses all the time. He's funny. He's funny, but he is the one that has less of the, the like the funny side he's more of the serious side oh i'm going to be serious now he ca that side of him really annoys me because he does have some funny moments in Aaron. then we move on to twins hikuru and karu um yes incest in the morning needs to be played right now but as i said earlier they do do it on purpose to entertain the women of the host club. Um, they're the funniest part of the manga and the funniest part of the anime. It has to be the bit when they fight. I won't tell you how it ends because it is hilarious and it's so unexpected it will make you laugh. They are the comedic side, obviously the comedic side of the manga. I like them. Probably one of my favourite characters in the whole series. Um, moving on from Hikaru and Kaoru, we move on to Honey Nozuka, or um, Honey, as he's known to the girls of Orin. Um, he is kind of like the, the um, what do they call it in Japan, um, the lowly boy, the cute boy. He acts a lot younger than he is. Technically, when Haruhi first meets him, he, she thinks he's younger. Um, but technically he's not. He's a year above them in in high school, even though he acts like he's like ten, which is quite funny at the same time. He's cute and I love his big, big pink rabbit, um, who is uh, Usachan. I think that's how you say Usachan, yeah. Um, and he always hangs around with the next character. And the next character is... Um, is Mori, Mori Senpai. I don't know his long name. He has a really, really long name that I can't quite remember. And he's the silent type. That's all I can say. He doesn't say much. Even in the Valentine's part of the manga, which I really enjoyed that. I don't know if anyone else enjoyed that, but I liked it a lot. Um. But no, he's he's cool. He's like the, like um, he Honey plays off of him, and Mori plays off of him as well, of of Honey. It's just it's good. So that and oh, how can I forget her? If you guys have watched KHS channel, you may know about his hatred for Renge. Renge is the character who um she comes in from France. She's from Paris. Um, and she is in madly love with a character that looks really scarily like um, um, Koya. So she stalks him in this episode which is really annoying and I have one word OTAKU! Um, yeah, read the manga, watch the series, you'll find out what that's all about, just seriously. Um, 
and then she goes around like every now and then pops up to say random stuff she is I'm sorry everybody if anyone likes Renge she is annoying she, she, she turns up at the most stupidest of places um so moving on from characters the next bit is the artwork the artwork of Warren High School is really really unusual um I really like it because each character has um Dif different facial structures um, they have different styles so if you look at Harry there um, I'm trying to think you can there's a way of telling their expressions and a lot of manga don't I've read a few manga that you can't really tell the difference between some of the characters like I find if you read a lot of of clamp stuff even they play different roles you can tell that they related to different other characters um, like Subasa, Triple X Subasa and Triple X Holic are different I know but you, you can spot them in anime like um, in Chobits in um, what other clamp stuff are there? Magic with Night Ray Earth that all can I don't like similar characters. I like the idea of different style characters. I must say, I don't know who does the art. Oh no, the art is actually done by Bisco Tori as well. So I think they did really well with the art of Orid High School Post Club. So, all in all, I really, really enjoyed Orid High School Host Club as a manga. I do recommend, if you like the anime, do pick up the manga. The manga is really good. It's just like it, but there are slight differences towards the manga and the anime. Some of the anime has um, different, um, slightly different characters, slightly, slightly different story plot. I'm looking forward to seeing how the manga ends, um, if it ends the same way as the anime did, or it ends in a different way. I'm not going to spoil the end of the anime or the manga series so it does end in the same way but they're both very good so all in all Orange High School is a good read I recommend it to anyone who's watched the anime or loves shoujo man uh, manga if you're a boy and not really been into girly manga or anime I recommend you don't watch it so uh, all in all I give Orange High School Host Club Manga an 8 out of 10 so hope you tune in tomorrow for Doctor Who Day where I will be reviewing the first episode of the first series so hopefully I will see you tomorrow.